we got a little side project today. I picked up this old gray toolbox. Um, I needed a box to put my special tools in, my gym's tools and things like that. And my other toolboxes, as most mechanics get, are all full. Um, so I seen this on a local sort of swap line. It was 20 bucks, right? Um, it's got two drawers and a top case. The drawers here are all bent up on it. And uh, although I don't need to have something that's really fancy, uh, I think I'll clean this up a little bit and kind of get the doors bent out. Make it look like it should have been, I think, before I, I go and put my expensive tools in it. So it's just kind of a, a dumb project, but uh, I like working on some things for myself once in a while. Now that we've got it all finished, uh, we're just going to sand it up a bit and throw a quick spray of red onto her, tape a couple things up with a handle and stuff like that. The rest of it I don't really care about to get sprayed over. Um, so like I say, it's just something to store our tools in, so, but it's better than it was and the drawers work good now. It will be good. So today we're going to get at finishing up my toolbox, it's a Sunday, and uh, I got other things to deal with come the first of the week since so it's the only day I have. We got a coat of paint on it, and uh, it looks okay, it's not perfect. And I'm not a painter, that's for sure. But the old box looks better than it did when it came here, so <clears throat> we're going to start with some of this stuff that the wife had for me, some all-purpose PVC self-adhesive foil, buck 49, and uh, it just happens to be the right length, just about. So we're going to uh, put that down in there on our bottom of our shelves, uh, just something to keep a little more protective and better for the tools and it won't all chip up and paint come off. Um, once we're done with that, uh, my next plan is to put some decals on it. Uh, as with any shop or anybody, you accumulate a lot of decals over the years, and I've kept a bunch of stuff and uh, I stick them on different things. But today we're gonna put the bottom in, gonna dress up the toolbox, and uh, get it finished out. That's the plan. Now we've got some of that stuff in our drawers there. It's not perfect, some of it didn't want to adhere just the way it should. But for the most part, at least puts a clean bottom in it. 
and something to work with. So now we're going to go ahead and stick the decals on it, which should be fun. So now I have myself a nice clean toolbox. Uh, it might not be to everybody's taste, but the old toolbox was beat up, and now that we've taken all the dents out of it and got it to work, it's working perfect. Top door is locked. You have to open it up, release the mechanism, and then we've got our drawers all done. So now I'm looking forward to uh, getting my tools in it, putting them in it, and we'll see what the difference is when I get done. So here's my toolbox that I got to deal with now that we're going to try and uh, put these tools into my new toolbox. And just to show you, here's what I'm dealing with. Everything is piled in underneath everything. Uh, every time you try to go through stuff, you have to practically empty the drawer. So we're going to try and take this drawer, transfer it over to our cabinet, and. Uh, I'm sure it'll make my life a lot better. So there we have it, my new toolbox, all full of tools in their place and where they should be. I'm glad I took the time to do it. Now I can find stuff when I go to look for it. So there you go, a couple days work. I got myself a nice toolbox, I've emptied out the junk and uh, everything's in there where it should be. So I'm, I'm really happy with this project and it just shows you that anybody can make anything look decent with a little bit of work, doesn't take a lot of money. Half a spray can of red I had, some sandpaper, a little bit of time beating the dents out and uh, bam, you get yourself a new toolbox.